What's up Smashers, this is Zippo, and today's video is going to be on Marth's no impact land and things you can do with it. Uh, so let me kind of show you guys exactly what the no impact land is and what goes into it. So when every character in the game jumps and lands on the ground, and if you look at the top of the screen at the top right number, which is 24 right now, then 25, 26, notice uh, what happens when Marth lands on the ground. Right there, this is this is one frame of lag right now and then two frames, three frames, four frames, and now if I press A to do a jab, Marth will go into his jab animation. So it takes four frames after you land on the ground to do your jab, which is not much at all. Four frames is extremely fast. But the no impact land, which we're gonna talk about and I'm gonna show you how to do on different stages, is one frame of lag, or zero, however you wanna look at it, but one is the generally accepted. And uh, that's a lot less than four, and the reason it's useful is more of a visual cue to throw off your opponent and uh, just to get that much faster. So, so again, I'll show you if when I land on the ground with Marth right now, I've got one, two, three, four frames of lag, and now I'm holding jab, and Marth does his jab. So that's the normal landing. That's just conventional. You could call that an impact landing. Now I'm going to show you the no impact land, which... You can set up on this stage by running off of the platform and then just double jumping and Marth will almost always no impact land on that top platform. You can wave land off and do it as well and he'll no impact land. So now you notice if you pay attention to that top right number again, this is really important. There isn't going to be a single frame of Marth waiting he, or of Marth in that landing animation. He's just going to immediately go into the standing animation and there he is. You can see Marth is doing this really wonky stand up right here and now the whole jab he'll just kind of teleport straight into that jab animation. So I'll show you that again. So again, Mart's in the air, in the air, in the air, in the air. He's in the air, he's in the air. And now he's jabbing, which is just one frame of lag, pretty instant. In real time, it looks like this. So that's useful for a lot of things. So now that we understand what the no impact land is, that the, the conventional impact land for every character in the game is four frames, with Pichu, it's two. With Donkey Kong and Ganondorf, it's five. And Bowser, it's six. But every other character in the game, it's going to be four. But with every character in the game, the no impact land is one. So there's definitely a lot faster way to land. So let me show you some ways to set it up with Marth in particular. So the first way, which works on every stage in the game, mostly all the legal stages, is uh, no impact land from the ledge. And so basically, you can see the regular land I can do from the ledge is to jump high enough, and Marth will land and he'll get his one, two, three, four frames of lag, and then he'll jab. And then the second way is to, uh, just I just paused it right in the same frame that I know impact landed, but the second way is basically just timing your double jump, falling a little bit slower so that Marth automatically does no impact land. And if you if you guys are paying attention, these, these lands I'm doing onto the stage are all no impact lands. So let me try to get a good pause here. So Marth's in the air, he's in the air, he's in the air, he's still in the air, he's still in the air. Might have jumped too high here. And, okay, so I jumped too high there. So that was a conventional one, and then I jab on frame four. But uh, even without the pause, you should be able to see that Marth can do a lot of things out of his no impact land. So on frame one, after I do this, I can jab. I can forward smash. Forward smash is a popular one, <laughs> always with Marth. I can no impact land dash, which is really interesting because if you'll notice here, when I when I do a regular land, like a wave, dan a wave dash on, and then dash, there's like a visual cue that your opponent might pick up on. He's got that big white poof of smoke, the spiky white like smoke cloud to kind of, as a visual cue to tell that you're coming up the stage. But if you do a no impact land, you notice that, that that white cloud doesn't come up until you do that initial dash. And you can, can kind of trick people out with that. Just land on the stage and dash. Uh, a way to tell if you're doing the no impact land or not is to jump off the stage and, and go into a walk. And if you never see any white smoke, then you've no impact landed, just like that. But if you do see the white smoke, that means you didn't no impact land. So the first one is definitely doing it from the ledge. That's really pretty easy with Marth. A lot of characters kind of have that naturally. Like I'm pretty sure Samus has got a pretty easy one. Just uh, you just gotta time your pressing down or away from the ledge and then jumping onto the stage. So that's the first one. The second one, Battlefield has quite a few here. So another one on Battlefield that's useful is to wave wave dash off the platform, 
forwards or backwards and then double jump and every time Marth will land on the top platform so that sets up for cool stuff like if there's a opponent up there uh, you can wave dash off jump and just grab him like that and we all know that Marth's grab leads to lots of stuff so if there's like a shielding space animal or something thinking they're safe from the top platform you can get him with a wave dash off grab or wave dash off backwards grab both work and uh, also like I showed in that first demonstration you can just run off the platform and double jump works the same way totally and uh, it's really an interesting mix up because you can just get get in the top platform with one frame of lag and just really mix people up with a, a grab so that's that's the second one on battlefield another one that isn't as much of a setup because those those the ledge one and this one kind of set up for themselves but one that doesn't really have too much of a setup is if you just jump and then time your double jump to the point where Marth is kind of right at the level of the platforms and then do a double jump he'll uh, he'll land on those platforms there just like just like that so normally if you just double jump too high you'll see that Marth gets the white the white smoke cloud and he kind of lands on the top platform like that but if you time your double jumps a little more carefully you can get a no impact land every time on the top platform which is you know interesting and useful for sure and on uh, on FOD and Yoshi's I'm going to show you a much easier way to time this so this has been the battlefield no impact lands now let's go to some other stages I'm going to skip Pokemon Stadium and and Final Destination because the only ones on that stage, at least in the neutral transformation of Pokemon Stadium, is uh, because they don't have conventional platforms and FD doesn't have platforms, it's just the no impact land from the ledge. So that's Battlefield, FD, and Stadium. So now we've got Dreamland, uh, Yoshi Story, and Fountain. I'll go to Dreamland real quick. Dreamland has probably like the third least after those. Um, there's not really much you can do here, but you can if you wave dash off the wave dash off the ledge and then do a double jump, you'll see that Marth just kind of instantly gets on that platform. That's one. Kind of more difficult to do, but uh, one of the cooler looking ones, you really do just like appear on the top platform. Just like that. And uh, and that reminds me, I need to go back to Battlefield. Because there's one more on Battlefield that's a little more difficult, but is something that is super helpful with Marth when getting off of the ledge. Because if you're a Marth main, you've probably experienced having trouble getting off of the ledge without getting punished before. So The other one that I forgot to mention is if you wave dash off the, uh, the side of Battlefield and do a double jump and hold forward, you'll no impact land on this platform almost 100% of the time. What that also means is that if you're on the ledge and you know how to hack stash like that, where you uh, land on the stage and then wave land off, if you double jump at before you grab the ledge and you do it fast enough, Marth will land on this top platform right here. And what you can also do, since you're no impact landing, is you can air dodge or wave land into the stage, and you can get uh, you can get high on the stage quickly, just like that from the ledge, without ever having to put yourself even a couple steps onto the stage. You can just go straight to the platforms with Marth, which is extremely, extremely useful against, especially against opponents that don't know how it works. Obviously with Fox, you can just jump straight from the ledge up to here, but Marth can't get up there without doing the, a wonky air dodge that's very punishable. And, uh, and this is so much better to do a no impact land like that with just no frames of lag. So that's the other super important one on Battlefield. Now we'll go to Yoshi's and FOD. So the Yoshi's platform and the FOD platform, the top platform height is just about exactly the same. So what that means is you can do this. So if I do a short hop and then double jump at the crest of my short hop, when Marth is as high as he can go in his jump, you can see all of these are no impact lands. And this is super useful because if you get somebody shielding on the top platform, say say you're chain grabbing Fox or Falco and you throw them up to the top platform and they do that thing where they land right at the top platform, you can faint doing a short hop up air and just double jump and grab them. And you can see how incredibly fast that grab comes out. It's lightning fast because you have one or zero frames of lag, however you want to look at it. And you'll, you'll get these grabs on people a lot of times when they're not expecting it. And if they are expecting it, then you just shark them with the short hop up air or the more up airs so super useful technique being able to, to short hop and then double jump at the top of your short hop and grab I would really recommend practicing that that you could master this really really quickly 
just short hop, double jump, no impact land, short hop, double jump, no impact land, and then always practice doing some kind of action once you get to the top. Usually going to be grab, or if you just want to practice like the frames, uh, jab, forward smash. Everything works because you're just in the waiting animation, so that's FOD. Yoshi's going to be the same way. Yoshi's, you can also do the, the battlefield one where you hack sash off, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult on Yoshi's because it's got that curved edge, so I wouldn't really recommend doing that as it's going to be a lot more difficult. But again, Yoshi's uh, platform might not look the same height as Fountain Dreams, but I promise you it is because you can see Marth does his short hop, double jumps up there, and gets to the top every time, no problem, super easy. So that's Yoshi's. Uh, again, like on Yoshi's, if you if you run off and double jump, you'll notice that the platform height is different than Battlefield. So I'm not doing no impact lands right now. I'm just landing. But you can no impact land on any platform if you just time your jumps correctly. Just just stall out your double jump, and you'll you'll no impact land. So that is Yoshi's. And now I'm going to show you with a couple of different characters, just some some really common ones. If if, uh, if this video has been difficult to understand or weird, so I'll go to Yoshi's here and show you a wonky thing about Captain Falcon's full hop. So if Captain Falcon jumps to the top platform, he can't get there. But if you do Captain Falcon's backflip jump, like this, Captain Falcon will no impact land on the top platform. So that's an, kind of an interesting thing, and that, that is a really good representation of the no impact land, because he just, he just stands up there, and it looks really strange, because he's supposed to be finishing his backflip. So that's Captain Falcon's. And the other one that's really, really common that uh, a lot of Sheik mains do on accident when they start out is on Pokemon Stadium. If you are Sheik on Pokemon Stadium and you short hop onto this platform, or you try to short hop, you perfect, you no impact land on the, on the platform. Every time you do a backflip or a regular, a regular short hop and you're always gonna land on the top platform really fast so it is good for getting like the quick grabs and again chic a character that grab is just devastating with so definitely a useful technique but if you're trying to do like a a short hop fair and you don't know how to uh, fair and then like fast fall you'll see a lot of chic mains do this on accident they'll do a short hop and then they'll forward smash on accident which when they're trying to do something like and I just did it there when they're trying to do something like that so this has been no impact landing with Epo, I think this is a super useful technique. I would definitely recommend practicing it on uh, Yoshi's and FOD on the top platform. And uh, the Battlefield Hackstash one, a little bit more difficult, but super important nonetheless. So good luck hackstashing, guys. Uh, if you like the video, leave me a like, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see next time.